Hello everyone. In this video and next video, I'm going to solve uh, some couple of problems. That uh, for solving these problems, we have to use uh, principle of work and energy, and also we have to apply conservation of linear momentum. First example: a one kilogram ball moving horizontally at 12 meter per second strikes a 10 kilogram block. The coefficient of restitution of the impact is 0.6 and the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the inclined surface is 0.4. What distance does the block slide before stopping? As you can see, the final velocity of the block is zero. And the first step for solving this problem, we have to analyze the impact uh, between the ball and the block. And as you can see, when the block is moving along the um, inclined surface, we have to resolve the, the velocity of the ball along the inclined surface and in this direction, okay? And this is, the only component that we are using for solving these problems. For this reason, we can uh, say the type of the impact between the ball and the block, okay, as a central impact, okay, because just we are using this component of When I resolve the velocity of the ball, this angle is 25 degree. Also, we can say this is 25 degree. For this reason, this component of the velocity is Vb cosine 25. The initial velocity of the ball as a 12 meter per second, 12 cosine 25. Just we are using this component of the ball. What is the velocity of the block just before the impact is zero. So if I apply, apply, con Conservation of linear momentum between the block and the ball. We have, we can say we have m. This is the mass of the ball, velocity of the ball just before the impact plus mass of the block, velocity of the block just before the impact equal mb vb prime, the velocity of the ball after the impact plus mb vb prime. mb mass of the ball mb mass of the block okay again for this problem the block is moving along the inclined surface for this reason just we are using this component of the velocity of the ball and we can say we have a central impact as you remember, for all type of the impacts, first we have to define the line of the impact. The line of the impact is a line that pass through to the center of mass of all the objects. For example, if I bring the ball here, this is the line of the impact and it's uh, applied along the x-axis. 
this is x, this is y. And we know that along the line of the impact, um, we, ha we have two equations, conservation of linear momentum, and the second equation is the coefficient of restitution. And we can apply coefficient of restitution just along the line of the impact. The next equation that we have to write, coefficient of restitution, is a velocity of the ball after the impact minus velocity of the velocity of the block after the impact minus velocity of the ball after the impact this is just along the x axis vb minus vp okay from equation 1 from this equation the mass of the ball is 1 and the velocity of the ball along the x and component is a 12 cosine 25 plus the velocity of the block just before the impact is 0, 1, velocity of the ball just after the impact, again this is along the x component plus mass of the block, velocity of the block just after the impact. How about the coefficient of restitution is 0.6, velocity of the block just after the impact as an unknown, and also the velocity of the ball just after the impact is unknown. The velocity of the ball just before the impact is a 12 cosine 25. Velocity of the block just before the impact is zero. As you can see, we have two equation and two unknowns. By solving equation one and equation two, the velocity of the block after the impact is 1.58 meter per second and velocity of the ball just after the impact is minus 4.95 meter per second is mean when the impact is happen when the ball strike to the block the direction of the velocity is changed and this is the value of the x component the next step we have to find after the impact um, the distance of this block okay it's meaning we have this inclined surface you understand the initial velocity of the ball and block or the velocity of the block just after the impact is a 1.58 we have to find this displacement until the velocity of the block reach to the zero if i show by one and two we have this equation as we know that uh, we have a friction between the block and uh, inclined surface if the block is moving in this way the friction force is opposite of the motion and we can say this force the friction force do the work on a block and also the weight of the block do the work okay this is the mg we can resolve it along the x and y and we have mg sine 25 and this component of the weight is a mg cosine 25 and also we have a normal force okay if i apply and we know that there is no any motion along the y-axis for this reason the summation of the force along the y-axis equals zero because we have a flat surface we don't have a curved surface 
n minus mg cosine 25 equals 0 n equal mg cosine 25 this is for the n we need the n for finding the friction force now we have to find the d as you can see we are involving with the force um, mass uh, force mass velocity and displacement when we have these four components we have to apply principle of work and energy or conservation energy okay for solving this problem i'm using uh, i apply the principle principle of work and energy okay and what was the equation is summation of the force times displacement equal changing in the kinetic energy based on the information of the problem the velocity of the block at the end point is zero how about the velocity of the block at the start point is a 1.58 based on this free body diagram the friction force do the work and also the weight of the object do the work and if you remember based on the principle of work and energy if the object is going upward or sliding up the work done by gravity is negative for this reason we can say minus mg sine 25 times d as a work done by gravity the next force that do the work on a block is a friction force minus mu co again is a minus because the friction force always against the motion because the object is moving in this place mu co n times d equal zero minus one half m v one square if i plug all the information that we have we have minus 10 9.81 sine 25 times d minus 0.4 times 10 9.81 cosine 25 d the initial velocity of the impact and uh, the block is a 1.58 we can say this is the velocity of the block just after the impact then we solve this one the d as a 0.162 meter this is the answer of this problem next problem In this problem, uh, we have some information about the, these two cars. Suppose that you investigate an accident in uh, which a 3,400 pound car A struck a park B and all four of the car, um, car B's wheels were locked and escape mark indicate that it is slide 20 feet after the impact if you estimate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the b tires and the road uh, as a point a 
and the coefficient of restitution of the impact as a 0.2. What was A's car A's velocity just before the impact? Okay, and also the problem mentioned assume that only one impact occurred. Based on this information, the car B is parked, okay? So we can say the velocity of the car B is zero. And the velocity of the car A just before the impact as the unknowns, and we have to find it. But as you can see, we have some information about the behavior of the car B just after the impact. The car and the problem mentioned after the impact, the car B, the tire of um, all the car, uh, the tire of car B is log and uh, slide it for 20 feet. Okay. And this is the car B, and after 20 feet, the velocity of the car B reached to the zero. But we know that when the car B uh, start moving, the velocity is different, is not zero. For this reason, we have to know uh, for solving this problem first we have to find the velocity of the car b just after the impact and after that when we apply uh, for uh, the problem of the impact between car a and b we can find all the information about the velocity of the car a before and um, after the impact Okay, this is the weight of the car A. This is the weight of car B. And also the displacement of the car B just after the impact is mentioned 20 feet and the velocity of the Car B after 20 feet reach to the zero. Okay, and coefficient of friction is a 0.8. Coefficient of restitution is a 0.2. And we have to find the velocity of the car A just before the impact. Okay, as I mentioned, First, we have to find the behavior of the car B from this point to this point is meaning when the velocity of the car B reached to the zero, but we don't know the velocity of the car B just after the impact. But we have this displacement. For this reason, if I apply the principle of work and energy for these problems, we can find the velocity of the car B just after the impact. Because we know that this is the car B, the only force that do the work for this problem is a friction force. If the car B is moving in this way, this is the direction of the friction force and we can say always against the motion. Okay. We can say apply the principle of work and energy to find the velocity of car B just after the impact. Okay, this
this is very important just after the impact okay for apply the principle of Volcan energy we have minus mu co mg times displacement equal changing in kinetic energy this is the velocity of the core at this point is zero and uh, the coefficient of friction is a point eight the weight of core b is 90 1960 the displacement as a 20 feet minus one half the mass of this car we have to divide it to the 32.2 vb prime square when we solve this equation this is the velocity of the car b just after the impact and the value is a 32.1 feet per second but our target is finding the velocity of the car a joining just before the impact in this case we have to the next step we have to apply conservation of momentum conservation of linear momentum because we have an impact problem along the x-axis okay the first equation is the MAVS plus MBVB MAVA prime MBVB prime. This is the equation one. Equation two, we can we have to apply coefficient of restitution along the x-axis or along the line of the impact is the velocity of the car B just after the impact velocity of the car A just after the impact VA minus VB this is we can say this is equation 2 now we have two equations and two unknowns the velocity of the car the mass of car A is 3400 over 32.2. The velocity of the car B just before the impact is zero because the car B is parked. The velocity of car B just after just after the impact is 32.1. This is equation one. As you can see, we have one equation, two unknowns. From equation two, we have point two 32.1 minus V A prime V A minus zero we can say point to va equal 32.1 minus va prime okay this is equation two by solving these two equations we can find the velocity of the car okay the velocity of car a just before the impact is a 42.2 feet per second and the velocity of car a just after the impact is 23.7 feet per second this is the answer of this problem thanks for watching